Welcome to SAS Monkey Gaming. I'm your host, Guckman, and today we are playing The Quarry. So for those of you who have not heard of this game yet, this game is one of those point and click games like From Dawn or whatever that game is called. And I didn't hear about it until the day of release when one of my coworkers was just like, oh, hey, you have a YouTube channel that does horror games. Have you heard of The Quarry? I've heard it's great. And I was just like, no, I haven't, but I will definitely check it out. Well, it's been a few days since release, and I'm sure there's a ton of videos out there already, but I am really excited to check out this game, and I know absolutely nothing about what we're going to face here. Uh, but classic horror game vibes, we're starting off with a, a del some delightful music, a wonderful drive through the woods, nothing bad could possibly happen. But you know, you gotta always have those two initial victims, right? So if you guys, those of you who have already played, played the game or watched the game, if you guys have any spoilers, please don't add them to the comments. You're allowed. I, I would be happy to see you guys like comment on like what you guys like and don't like. But for those of you who haven't seen the game yet, I would love to hear your theories on what you think is going on with the game. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of back and forth on what we think is actually going on here. Like, from what I'm seeing already, I'm thinking like werewolf or not deer. Or maybe it's more mundane like that. Maybe this is just like the name of the, the game is the quarry. So maybe we're going to be like hunted in some sort of like weird human social experiment. Who knows? June 24th, Laura, Route 919. No internet. That is great. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, I don't think I do. Begins with an L. Lame? No, no, no. Like that music was slapping. Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right. Geographic so, flux. Lost. That's debatable. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, quick time event. Got it. Yeah, honey. Nice catch. Thank you. That could have been one shattered flip yeah, phone. Oh, I've never I broke a phone in the car. Summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. It really does feel like that when you're driving you know, through the Max, woods. It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. Oh, that about? smug look. Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. With the serious? eye roll? <laughs> just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> working on it. I'm working on it. This is the most car trip conversation I've ever heard. Like, for those of you who don't know, when you're in a car that long, you have the weirdest conversations. Uh, voila. What is that? I picked the map. Yeah, I picked the map yeah. because no, I saw a leaflet the, the and map. Map, map made way more the sense. Map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. You guys are hilarious. I would love to hear you guys' banter See, so all day. Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? No signs. Wait, eyes on the road. Whoa. Oh shit. What was that? Like a was that like a human like in the fetal position? Did you guys see that? Right? My god. So not only are you lost with a map that doesn't tell you where you are, but you guys are now stuck in a ditch and your car is probably busted because you just rammed right through a wooden fence. Yeah, yeah. But man, I, mean, I would be so pace. panicked at this moment. Like my heart would be blowing out of my chest. What? Like I would have no, to take at no, least half an hour just to catch myself. 
was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I, I, I think mean, you'd be able to tell if you actually hit really something close, because maybe. you'd feel it. Uh, he must be in shock. Just like, I gotta what see what it? the damage is. I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the oh, two God. box from the trunk? Yeah. Two box, trunk. Got it. Man. <laughs> this turned fast. <laughs> With that tiny little light on that phone. I mean, it's a smartphone. It should have at least a somewhat decent light, but... My phone light, you're not going to see nada. Uh, Snoop? Of course. What do we have? Is that the flyer? Rejected? From university? Oh, that, God, that's awful. Why didn't you tell me? You wrecked your car. You're going to go be in a camp for whoever knows how long and you just wrecked your car you're not having a great time i can only imagine he's completely demoralized yeah actually if you could just shine a light right here but like at go. least he saves Perfect. money on university the sooner we get out of here the better this is me i'm always the person holding the light because i have no clue with cars whatsoever right in front of big old fire pits why not uh, they don't want to catch on fire. <laughs> Picture yourself going up in front of the big old space heat. Well, anywhere is better than here. Breathing behind a tree? Well, what are you doing? Keep the light on his work. Like, th that's not how you help someone by holding the light. Oh, oh. I saw something, so I clicked. Was that like an old woman in like a dining gown? Like, what is going on? I'm I'm leaning towards ghosts. I don't know about you guys, but I'm leaning towards ghosts. Where are you going? Like, I'm here. getting phasmophobia Just vibes. Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Yeah, stay there. Don't go be wandering off on your own. Haven't you heard Max, of the buddy up. system? What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Oh, okay. God. Don't. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be yeah. careful. Yeah. Don't go too far. You mean you're not going with her? Max. For, for the Maxes out there. For you Maxes the out car? there, make sure that you go with someone and enjoy the buddy system because... You don't want to be crawling around in a somewhat dry creek bed like that, like... You... Who knows? You might get lost and never be seen again. The Fool Tarot card. I'll check it out. The Fool. I wonder who this is. We all know Fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity, or however you say that. Actions without thought, but consequences to match. Think. Think and don't get burnt. <laughs> I think that car is so fitting of the situation right now because our main character, I think her name's Laura, is being so foolish right now. Oh, is this like a want? No, it's not a wanted poster. It's like a fortune teller? Sideshow spectacular. Harem scarum. Uh, okay, are we dealing with, like, the ghost of a fortune teller? What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think we're dealing with some sort of fortune teller or something completely different? Maybe it's like a circus or something? There's always fortune tellers at circuses. Okay, we got a briefcase. And inside... Escapology trunk. I 
did not think that was escapology at first. I thought that was like a psych ward or something. Oof. But no, uh, go down in the comments. Let me know what you think we're going to be going up against here because my bet is on Circus Ghost. Definitely Circus Ghost. Silas? Is that the name of the fortune teller? Okay. I have to be honest right now. By the time we'd reached this point, I would have already been so panicked by just the random noises in the woods after that car wreck. I would already be back at the car. Like, I wouldn't have made it this far. Look at her. She is completely freaked out. And that little camera is not doing her any good. If anything, it's making her, making it harder for her to see around her because you know, your eyes adjust and everything. Is that like a little girl? Did that say I am here? That'd be so creepy. I I think I would have just died right there. Like, no running, just I just deceased. Fall over dead. Oh, quick time event. Uh duck. Jump? Yes. Awesome. We are just nailing the quick time events. What's wrong? Is everything alright? Holy shit. Marky, what's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like I was there was noises all around honey, me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Definitely something I would say. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. No way. I I will be completely impressed if he actually yes, managed to pull go. this off. Like Max, come on! Here we go. Wow. Here we go. We're out of here. Yep. I'm not surprised. Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Right, you're not helping me. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't blame either one of them. I really don't. But like that car is going nowhere. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez. Oh, fuck. That oh is God, really God. creepy. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Oh, it's a police officer. You injured? Really, That's we're fine. We're just lucky. Was he like patrolling the road or something? Why are police officers always so creepy? Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, fair, fair. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Be honest. You don't want to. You don't want to make the officer we, uh, have any reason uh, to be mad at you or anything. Right in front of the car, and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved, and you know, here we are. Something jumped out. Why are you questioning that? You're you're on a you're in the middle of the woods, like of course animal, yeah. That's not uh, being dishonest. It, it definitely yeah, could have yeah. been an animal. Um, it's just it, it, don't know what kind. It was so fast and Yeah. Well it was most likely a deer. Path chosen. I hope that's Sir? a good path. The cop seems unsure car running i think that's sure. just a state of being like just unsure like they're this just like, like who are these the two kids like car. crashed in the middle of this year my first cop what like ever uh yeah i'm not a criminal he probably assumes they were speeding and like 
just totally missed the curb. Although I think they were on a straight road, weren't they? Do police cars usually have like a winch on them? That doesn't look like a tow truck of any sort. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Heading, yeah, We're friendly, heading yeah. Quarry summer camp. Where are you, counselors? You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. What? Not tonight. Are we like too far away? Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? That's rather aggressive. I mean, yeah, we're going to agree with okay. you just because, Fine. like, yeah, we'll head to arguing the with a police Understood. officer isn't gonna get, get you anywhere. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay. Uh, kind of suspicious. For sure. Sorry. I would definitely be uncomfortable. Are we in the Okay. So jumpy. Okay. So we Gross. Are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Why is he being so dodgy? Right. Do you think he's like some sort of FBI agent or something trying to like keep people away from the quarry because it's some sort of like secret operation or something harbinger motel stay on the road watch out for potholes oh you need like Have a statement a good night. Every experience I've had with a cop has always been super weird that way. I mean, at least he helped them get out of the pit because like if they if that cop hadn't come along Why when he did, they probably would have been there all night like seriously. And then their car would have sunk him even deeper. Relieved. Okay, Definitely relieved. Major weirdo. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> that the thing? Did you see I, was, was it blood? Oh, it's like burst blood vessels on the side of his neck. Meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, that was brilliant. I checked him into showing. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel? Just listen to this guy's advice. 
Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep ass woods to go to some creep ass hotel? Fair. Fair. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. But I mean, I I truly believe oh that the cop God. was probably me, ma'am, one more time, trying to. <laughs> Sorry, distracted by her talking, but mm -hmm. I think the cop was trying to do what he thought was in their best interest, even if it was super, debatable. super Easy. creepy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, established 1953. June 25th, still playing Laura. It is 26 in the no morning. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, What's the difference? This, this is the difference. I can't believe you just left a voicemail. That is absolutely Hello? disturbing. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? Getting a little bit of lag. I mean, how was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned? I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of chapter one. Thank you guys all for joining me. If you guys have any devious theories as to what you think is going on, go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments. Also, if you guys like this video and would like to see more, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, especially that like button. It tells YouTube that this is a video that other people should see. And I would love for people to see my videos. If you guys would like to support me in that way, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.